All right, now we're ready to uh, put this last layer of jute padding down over the whole floor. Um, but what you want to do first is go ahead and tape off any sections that you don't want to get uh, glue on just to help reduce cleanup time when we're finished. So I'm going to go ahead and put a few strips of tape over this rocker panel here. And uh, one thing you want to do before you, whenever you're taping to painted surfaces, is you want to detack your tape just uh, because we're not going to leave this tape on here for super long, so we don't need it really sticky, and we don't want to risk any possibility of pulling any of the paint off. So what I do is I just rub it on my pants like that, and then you can just stick it, stick it down on here. And what that's going to do is help make it not quite so sticky so that we don't run into any issues of pulling, pulling the paint off. All right, so that should be good there. Now what we need to do is um, cut out our piece of jute padding that we're going to lay here. And you always want to make this longer than it needs to be because it's, uh, it's better to cut it a little bit long than to be short. So um, we're going to bring, I'm going to bring it up a little bit past the foam here, and then uh, we're gonna come and trim it when we're finished gluing it on. And we're gonna leave, you know, extra material out here, and then we'll come back and trim it off when we're uh, when we're installing the carpet. So you kind of want to just get it laid in laid in there how you're you're gonna glue it on. And this stuff's pretty flexible, so we're not going to have to put any seams in this or anything. So that looks good about there. I'm going to give myself a couple extra inches. All right, so what I'm gonna do is um, we're gonna glue half of this at a time. So I'm gonna fold this in half like this. And then uh, what we can do is spray some glue on it, spray some glue here, and then we'll, we'll roll it in and cover it, and then we'll do the same thing again. All right, and a good thing to have while you're doing this is just a scrap piece of chipboard you can use to kind of block glue from areas you don't wanna get it. So I'm going to go ahead and spray this down now.
All right, so we'll wait for this to tack up and then we can glue it on. All right, now this is ready to uh, glue down here. And uh, what we're gonna do is just kind of roll this on while we're, while, we're while we're gluing it down. The reason we're gonna do that is what you don't wanna do is lay it like across the whole thing and try and push this down into these um, curves here because then it's gonna stretch this a little too much and it's not gonna look that good. So what we're gonna do is just kind of hold it up like this and run our hand like this while we're while we're pushing this on and then just we're just gonna get it down into this down this roll here and you can see how nice that comes out so I'm gonna go and do this the rest of the way Then we can come and do this part. Then what I'm going to do is just pull this back until you can see where it, um, where the glue is sticking, and then we can um, we can finish gluing the rest of this piece, and we'll bring it all the way up in there. All right, now I'm just gonna make a few relief cuts here so I can help get the, uh, the padding pushed down in these little corners here.
And you can use your, uh, your little angle pick to help get it pushed in real nice. Do it all up along here. All right, that's looking pretty good. We can do the backside now. <laughs> 